Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, we got Portia Williams out there trying to fake the funk, okay? Basically, she's trying to fake the phone. How we said back in my day, my heyday, faking the phone, faking the phone, faking the phone, faking the phone. Girl, she is over there saying she's happy. I'm so happy. Gather around now. I'm so happy. Y'all know that song by, was it Pharrell or was it uh, John Legend? Hell, I think it's John Legend, right? Oh, yeah. Wave your hands just a little bit louder. Clap your hands if you want something. Hell, I don't know. It was just coming to my mind. I thought I would speak it out there. But if y'all know the lyrics to the song, go on and sing it while you view this video. Okay? But we got Portia out there saying she happy, happy, happy. And I'm like, well, what, Portia? You don't shape your figure here. An hourglass figure. Well, you know you ain't got no hourglass figure. You know you got a big old rump in the back, honey. Juicy, juicy rump like Big Booty Judy. But not that large, okay? Not that large and in charge. But honey girl, honey girl, honey girl, you have photoshopped your figure, okay? You have photoshopped your face. Girl, when will you ever stop? When will we ever see the real Portia, Portia, Portia? Okay, Portia, now you know you ain't got no gray eyes. You know, you know, girl, you need to stop faking the phone. You know you ain't got no gray eyes. Then you're going to have the audacity to bring some shoes into an event that had no business being a part of your ensemble, a part of your wardrobe, girl. Where are you getting those silver shoes from? Those are not Scooby-Doo's, okay? But you're not a man either, so. <laughs> and I see you took my advice and sliced up some of that hair. Because you know you were looking like Elvira wearing a uh, Halloween costume, girl, when you had that hair going down to the floor looking like Morticia Adams. Girl, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord. You got those pretty uh, St. Laurent uh, purse with the gold chain, and you got on some silver spiked heels. I cannot, Portia, I cannot. Were you trying to bring the color in with your earrings? Because you did a very nice job of bringing the color in, matching that future uh, purse of yours. You understand that, but where did the silver come in, girl? And those gray eyes, girl, stop it, Portia, stop it, please. I need a break. Give me a break. Give me a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Girl, Portia, stop it, stop it, stop it. Girl, you could fake your face, you fake your lips, you fake your eyes. Okay, then you we just know you went all the way fake with uh Father Fine Bodell with them veneers uh in his mouth. Should have been uh, hey, should have had some dentures like myself where you can take them out, all right. Because I know uh Father Time breath is funky, funky, funky. Give me that funk, that cushion up, that cushion, cushion, cushion funk. Hey, phone. Yes. That cigar. And he probably smells cigarettes too, but the cigar smell, it smells okay, but not when you're trying to kiss somebody. Okay. You're trying to do the uh tonguing as well. No ma'am, no Lord, no God. It was a uh toxic garbage pit. I bet his breath smells like a toxic pit. Okay. But that's another here, nor there. We're just getting into you, Portia, you. And I heard, girl, through the grapevine, how much longer would you be my, my baby? Okay, that was a little Marvin Gaye. My little rendition of that song. Heard it through the grapevine, girl. Heard it through the grapevine. These YouTube streets from Tisa Tales. Y'all don't know who she is. She's a blogger in California, I believe, and she just makes you laugh, and she got all the tea. She has little chatter tales over there, going over there, if you have the time and the space, going over there and get your laughs on, because she can keep you quite entertained. And we got, uh, I think it's Hustling Housewives, child, they saying you out there 
going to get your wedding spin off. But yet, uh, you can't pay for nothing. And Bravo ain't trying to pay for it. It's okay. We'll shoot it. We'll shoot the scene, baby. We might pay you a little keep going. But we ain't paying for shit. We ain't paying for nothing. No dress, no venue, none of that. So you over there in Nigeria, girl. I heard you was down there. Not down under like Australia, but you were down there deep. With the Nigerians, girl, looking for vendors for free, looking for designers for free, looking for food for free, looking for the place you're going to hold your wedding for free, and you want entertainers for free. And I heard that, is it Davidu, DeVito, Davidu, y'all know who I'm talking about, I can't get his name straight, uh, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all want him and Burnabon? I did a video on him, Burna. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but it's two Nigerian nice looking men, okay, doing they do things, making it do what they do, entertaining people, and they used to get paid for it. But Portia and Simon want them to do it for free. Girl, and Tisa tells over there talking about Simon, you paid for an interview for Davido Davido to come and be around your space, girl, to see if you got that clout. No, we know you ain't can't you ain't got that clout. And no, we know Simon can't do that walk. No, he can't walk, walk, walk. No, Simon can't walk, walk, walk. No, he can't. Oh, but anyway, 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 that's neither here nor there. But I'm like, okay. Uh, of course, you quit all your jobs, baby. You quit this nation and you quit Real Housewives of Atlanta because you were sailing for something brand new. Understood, understanding the situation, but you failed miserably at that. We won't bring up the show. We won't even tell the title anymore because it's embarrassing for you and me, okay? And I am not even in your range. Your I know you don't see it for me, but girl, I see it for you. I see it for you. I'm trying to keep you uplifted. I am trying to keep you above water. But you just keep sinking. You keep sinking because you got father time. Father time don't have anything that we can pretty much quantify and research. We don't know anything about him. So I guess you don't know either, but you're too scared to say it. Okay? Stop being prideful. If you want to drop that ego, go on and drop him now rather than later, baby. Because he's going to cause you nothing but pain, pain and frustration. Okay, pain and frustration. And I hear that uh, Simon gave you an ultimatum, girl. He said you either choose me and cut Dennis in half. Okay, no, cut him free. We don't want to be, we need you to get sole custody. So, um... He don't have no custody rights, and we don't have to see him no more. I'm the only man that's supposed to be in your life, and I will take care of PJ. Girl, is that man saying that? Girl, it's Simon giving you an ultimatum, girl. That's how you need to walk right on out of his life. Walk, walk, for sure. Walk, walk, walk. Don't look bad. Walk, walk, walk. You won't look, you won't like what you're looking at. Girl, I can't believe all this stuff is being told. Such a limited amount of time. A lot of time give you that type of ultimatum girl that it's gonna be him or dennis him or dennis well guess what simon broke nigerian billionaire millionaire he would never never be out of your life because as long as you got portia portia loving her baby girl pj pj loving her mama you're gonna always see the real mccoy you're gonna always see the real dad and he can't be replaced he cannot be replaced even if he died tomorrow you still could not Face baby girl out of uh his uh out of her heart for her dad. You are not her dad, Simon. You are not even good enough to even say you have children because we barely see you with them. And then when you're out cascading the highways and the byways in the skies, guess what? We don't see you with them. So do the mothers know something we don't know? Oh, that's enough. That's enough right there. Okay. And now let's see. Let's what other stuff I got. And we know you rent planes, we know you rent trains, and you you rent um, boats, okay? There's uh, no media out here to watch you, Simon. We don't give a shit, okay? So tell your Porsche, Porsche, Porsche to stop taking pictures at the hangar, meaning the airplane port. When y'all trying to take off in one of those rented jets, ain't nobody checking for y'all. And please hurry up. It was raining that day when she had on that blue and white outfit with that horrendous bag that was beige okay oh and one of my family members said that he bought you a white chanel bag for your birthday girl why and what or it could have been for well uh, let me see valentine's day that we don't even know it's another here or there but he bought you a white chanel bag where is it girl 
where is it? Because it would have went fabulous with that outfit you had on and not that beige bag. Okay, I'm just saying, keeping it real for the family over here. Because that's not what we do. That's what we do. We keep it real. But yeah, of course, you were sitting up there uh, showcasing and flossing. We know Simon was there. He probably was trying to take the picture or hold the camera steady. But he can't do too many things at you know, at one time. So take it easy on brother man. Please take it easy on brother man. All right. But anyway, uh, we also know that he was a part of the airplane ride. Why you had that man that was chauffeur chauffeuring you around, girlfriend, and it was raining. And you know the man, oh, he was falling under the umbrella for you. And you were trying to take pictures. Nah, baby, scoot it on up there because you ain't got no money. But you have to cross and take pictures everywhere you go. What is the photo op trying to say to us? What is the photo op you trying to give us, girl? And I got another family member here. This is knows as I am. Uh, her name is Goddess Drea. Okay. Uh, from what I understand, Hustler Housewives was over there. If you don't know who he is, Google him. He keeps me laughing here and there with all his unknown resources. <laughs> when he bring out his commentary, okay, all his people that's coming to him, giving him tea to drop, but we can't um, decipher whether it's true or not. But anyway, uh, they say, you want to call out the wedding if she don't get that tattoo removed, girl. Is that what she, that's what he's doing? That's why you went and tried to go get a tattoo out? Or what's going on? Tell him he can't remove Dennis out your life. It's a shame and a scandal, but it's true. So stop making him let you do things. Don't listen to him, honey. You got your own mind. We thought you had your own mind at one point in time, okay? Alrighty then. Um, let me see. Um... Okay, we really don't want you with Dennis. We thought about that situation. We don't. Because you would have to really be genuine when you have to give Mama Gina an apology. And then we don't know what we're going to do with your mama because she was fronting as well. So I don't know. I think it's just status quo. Y'all just learn how to co-parent with one another. Because that was very foul. That was very foolish, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery behavior. Fuckery behavior. Okay, it was the four L's because I couldn't believe you were trying to put the man in a Mexico jail over your alleged cousin Storm girl. And then you still keep going to Mexico. Herps and Caicos. What is down there in Mexico? That is, are you going to have a wedding there, girl? Are you going to have a wedding there? Because if he's a billionaire, a millionaire, you should have been in Hawaii. That's where you should have been. Hawaii, oh, yay. Hawaii. Okay, girl, we know you're tired. I know Simon's giving you a fur headache. I know he is. I know he is. Even though you're trying to say you love him, you're in love with him, but you're in love with what he can give you. You're in love with the uh, perks of being married to a billionaire. Millionaire. You don't have to work. You just have your little time where you mix and match, you know, wardrobes over there at Amazon. And you play around with the hair, which is go naked hair. And then you mess around and want to put us to sleep in some pamper by Porsche sheets, girl. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Get your jobs back, Porsche. Get your jobs back, home, girl. That's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, Porsche will understand what we were trying to tell her. It's all love. It ain't all uh, hate. We just want her to do better because we know she know better. So she did start doing better. I mean, she got a child to think about. I don't want her training her child how to get the millionaire or billionaire. We want her to be able to be out there and become a millionaire, trillionaire. Okay, but her, her dad is in her life, her other grandmama is in her life. So they're going to teach her the finer things of learning how to fish and provide for yourself for another day versus having a man do it for you. Okay? And you can get a man either way, <laughs> all right? But that's all I got, and I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.